rattlesnake would probably be one of my favorite subjects, the different moods of Rattlesnake Mountain. And anything else that's, uh, it has inherent beauty to it and, you know, communicates, you know, God's creation to people in the outside world that normally wouldn't see what I'm photographing unless they see it in a photograph. It's like loving the chase. It has to do with getting that mood and the lighting and it's like fishing. You know there's something out there, you know the fish are in the river and you're trying to catch that one big fish. And it's like trying to catch that one great photograph and it takes a lot of trips to catch that one big fish. And it takes a lot of trips to get that one really good photograph that you like or that you're real proud of. Our open lands I think are probably sacred and we don't need to build on everything. We don't need to develop everything. My job in over the past 35, 40 years has been to photograph this area over and over and over again. And you see the transition, you see the changes now. A lot of areas I photograph don't exist anymore because of development and uh, you know just people expanding into the countryside. When I first started, I collected a lot of photographs from other photographers from magazines and made a scrapbook. And I'd look at that image and see the drama that they caught, and it's something that captured my eye. So then my job was to try to capture that in this area. The favorite first memory was, uh, was back in the uh, 70s when I was meeting with Rob Lee Johnson, one of our first area landscape photographers, and he told me, you get a good picture of Rattlesnake Mountain, and you can retire on that picture. And so that became my first goal, was to get a good shot of Rattlesnake Mountain. And uh, so I spent countless days uh, running back and forth from my house out in this area here to watch Rattlesnake, watch the clouds move by and wait for that right moment and catch, capture it. So my favorite place has been the Palouse and the Columbia Basin. That's two primary areas I focused on for 35 years. And thus, that's the reason I did the Northwest Drylands book, to share the beauty of Eastern Washington with everybody else in the outside world. And uh, that's, that's, this is my favorite area of all areas I've been in. And I've been in some pretty fun areas too. I grew up here in Richland and uh, the community here has supported what I do for 30 years, uh, way beyond my wildest dreams. You know, I just like the area. It has everything. You've got from uh, within 100 miles, I can be on top of a mountain or fishing in a river or, you know, walking through a, a sandy desert. So there's not many places you can do that in a region like this. It's easy to get out of town quickly. Hi, I'm John Clement. I am Richland. Uh -huh.